Okay, welcome back to Depressing Village here. Yeah, everything looks kind of weary. Let's uh let's go ahead and change that. Well, were we still sucking out the life from this city? Um I think we could Sorry. Okay. I think we can go ahead and re no. No, 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 no. Sorry, I'm just very confused, apparently. Um, we were letting it go. This is our arcologies. That's right. Okay, sorry, it's been a bit of a frazzling day. Okay, so, um, let's go ahead and get our speed back up to... Cheetah. And let our city recuperate. So I've been thinking about what I want to do after this, and I think I might try my hand at Sim Tower. So Sim Tower is a building game, essentially. Where you more or less work on building a um, thriving tower. I know, very, very uh, descriptive analysis, deep analysis of the game. But if you enjoy SimCity 2000 and have never played SimTower, I'm pretty sure you'll like it. Very similar style game, since it was made by the same people. Well, made by Maxis. Although, some tower I think is made by somebody named Ute. I, I can't remember. Uh, let's see. So... Go ahead and put in some residential right here. We need to start thinking about our our um, arcologies. So we have three now: Plymouth Arco, Forest Arco, and the Darko. Darko is slang for deurbanized archaeological constructed uh, construct, originally designed by the twisted genius of Dante. Mc Alver, uh, artist architect, proclaimed a reactionary response to the rigid arch archetypal arcologies of his day. No one really knows what this means, and many engineers are frankly baffled by how the thing stays standing. Inside ill-lit corridors twist into odd, meandering corkscrews that mysteriously turn back on themselves. There are rumors that a strange subspecies of man inhabits the air ducts. Darko's cost that much and can attract up to that many people. And brave souls. But yeah, we'll build one of each. So, Dark... let's see. So, I think it's, that's a 5 by 5 So the problem with uh, arcologies is that they're 4 by 4s but you tend to build 6 by 6 rows. I think over here is going to be the best, like, place to start. From a corner is usually your best bet. Go ahead and kill the city. So as stuff dies right here, we'll replace it with our ecologies. Yeah, we could afford the Plymouth Arco. And Arcologies uh, house all three, I believe. 
all three type of zonings. Uh, I meant to click on information. So, solid as a rock, or so claims Plymouth Arcologies. It is known that they have stood through several earthquakes, notably in the Neo Republic of Mexico and the Taiwan Co Prosperity region, of course. Uh, Plymouth um, Arcologies are designed primarily to support heavy industries, as witness Greenland Motors, maker of the in Maker of the Narwhal 3000, this might not be such a good choice if you are overly concerned about pollution. Plymouth Arcos cost that much and attract about that many residents. So again, we will go ahead and kill off some of this area. We may just, like, I think starting in the corner is probably the better choice. Seems really slow. And it's probably because for me the music is not playing. Graphics aren't updating super regularly. Okay. Nice. Nice chunk of money. Still off for another year. Yeah, this is a five by five. By three. Yeah, usually you're doing six by sixes for your blocks. Well, six from a certain, from one row to another. Okay, might be, eh, let it go for, finish off this year, and then we'll go ahead and kill it. Okay. Gonna blow! Oh crap, I forgot that. Have to... Um, okay, so something's going to blow up. I'm assuming it's Is this power plant already? No. Only eight years old. The... It must be this one, then. Yeah. Okay, those cost how much again? 28? Yeah. All right, that's fine. We'll have plenty of money to put in our first arcology. Okay, let's go ahead and do that then. Crap, didn't mean to blow up the road. It'll grow back. Not the road, but the, the buildings. So, go ahead and put in our first arcology. They're big, like, they are physically intimidating compared to the rest of your city. Okay, let's go. Oh, shoot. That was the wrong button. Crap. Okay. <sighs> um, okay, so that was uh, African Swallow. Now you see why I say never to go up to African Swallow. Speaking of that heavy traffic thing, I actually got a comment on one of the videos, um, and this kind of shows how, like, I tend to record these videos in chunks, so if I bring up a comment from, like, five videos ago, which I think this is actually five videos ago at this point, um, It just shows like how often I actually record. Because at this point, I think it's been a, about a week 
You have a airport. Stop complaining. Probably want another airport. Birds are so expensive. Now, I don't know if that'll actually quell the desire for an airport, so... Let's... Go ahead and just add in another one. Okay. I was gonna say, I really hope that kept the airport part. How is our power and water doing? Water's taking a bit of di a dip, but I think it's fine for right now. Okay, go ahead and take another chunk. Do another year. Seems like a really bad setup, personally. <laughs> okay. Look at this thing. Like, it looks so cool. Arcologies are just really cool to look at, in my opinion. So yeah, at, I mean, at this point, we've pretty much filled up our map. I think the only real thing we need to do still is build our colleges. Um, do over here. The only problem with leaving water in is it does make it a lot harder to build around. Uh, don't build a, bri uh, a bridge. Uh, no, we don't want to build to our neighbor. We don't like our neighbor. Um, yeah, do that. I'm going to turn that around so I can get a better view. Number five, six. Uh, get rid of that. And yeah, send that one down there. I think that's about all we can really do. Okay, so once this year is over, we'll go ahead and let the city rejuvenate. Again, this is why I don't really like highways. They're so annoying to work with. I think just it's because I don't really understand highways in this game, and I feel like most people probably don't understand highways that well in this game. Sure, these exits will be useful later on. But for right now, they're fine. Fine the way they are. Is this capable of... Yeah, cool. Again, I'm not entirely sure how you use highways correctly.
That's why I generally just go with buses for public, uh, buses and subways for public transport. Okay, looks like things are starting to grow back up, which is good. Go one more year, let it. We should probably fill this stuff in, though. So that we actually get some value out of this land that we just built up. We will fill that, and then we'll fill this in with residential. And yeah. Probably put some commercial over here to boost the. actually boost the airport in some meaningful way. Okay, let's go ahead and hook all this stuff up. I have to hook it up with water as well, but that can wait. I don't think that connected. Not. Okay, let's go ahead and turn back on Cheetah. This does not have water. Go ahead and hook it up. That built really quickly. All right, heavy reporting traffic. But yeah, back to uh, my the comment that we got. Um, it was a super nice comment. Like, I'm genuinely happy that somebody watched our video and like got some enjoyment and out of uh, seeing a game that they loved. It, it really does make me happy to, like, see that. Makes it more worth doing videos. Obviously, I don't... I record videos because I enjoy it as well, but it definitely does help. Just make that clear. <laughs> Not doing this just to get views and all that fun stuff. All the fun joys of uh, doing YouTube is to be, I'm pretty sure uh, YouTube, actual like content creators don't make that much off of YouTube. Why you often see like a lot of um, a lot of like Patreons and Um, and sponsorships and stuff, because literally can't, um, make enough by just doing YouTube. Okay, we'll go ahead and double up. As I said, I think water pumps lose water the farther away from, from water they are. So I think the sweet spot is like maybe two away, but for sure one. Okay, that should hopefully take care of our water problems for a little while. Make sure this gets hooked up to the grid. Okay, it is still connected. Okay. So Assuming this uh, power plant has already, like, re, um, rebuilt itself, mm. yeah, a few years ago at this point. So we now have enough money to go ahead and start building again. Okay. 
definitely have to be careful with this. Because you can blow up your archaeologies, and they don't, like, give you a prompt to ask uh, if you're sure that you want to blow this up. So again, we're going to go ahead and build one of everything except the, the super fancy ones that I want to build more of. So there is like an actual setup to these that you, you do like a line of them, like at least a couple lines. And then you build like police stations right next to them because these things get a lot of crime. Wow, this is uh, depressing. <laughs> It's a very depressing view of our city, our once great city. But Mayor McSim needs his money so he can build more archaeologies. It's just a price that the people have to pay. Okay, no more taxes for a year or two. So, I'm not sure how much water these things take. Conditions, okay. Um, water and power, I'm not sure how much of each. And then you have like fusion reactors, like all in a line as well, or in a block or something. Obviously, we are not, like, perfectly set up to do everything perfect, because that's just not how I build. Um, archaeologies tend to be a very big afterthought for me. Go ahead and do that. I don't know why... I didn't build across here. Okay, you guys definitely need some water. And I have no clue where the roads actually are. Go ahead and just build like a redundant water line. Because why not? And I'm sorry if you can hear my roommate like cackling with his girlfriend. <laughs> One of these days I'll get Elliot to do like a, a video with me or something. Or with Luke and I. But for right now. Not, probably not going to happen anytime soon. Okay. I would like to see the state of our city before I go ra raising taxes again. It could definitely use some improvement still. Ah, the launch arco. That's the final one. So once we go ahead and remove some more stuff, put down the Darko, and then we'll just be building launch Arcos from that point. So you might be thinking like, well, how do I make more money than this particular strategy? Well, you could go ahead and try and raise land value. But I generally just find that to be more maxi tediousness than it's really need and what's really necessary. Honestly, as long as you're like, as long as you're just building, um, just filling the map with stuff, 
a mix of stuff and putting some nicer things here and there just to, you know, make it slightly less crappy. Um, it's generally fine. Okay, give me more money. Interesting. Okay. I don't know why there's just random explosions here and there. Yay! Thank you, Mayor McSim, for not being complete trash. You're welcome, citizens. Definitely as you continue, you get bigger and more interesting buildings, especially with the commercial stuff. Why I always really liked building commercial <laughs> was because it always it was it's always the coolest of the three types. The buildings just look a lot more interesting, visually interesting compared to residential and industrial. And as you add in more and more arcologies, you'll get more money from one single arcology than the 4x4 four four block that you remove to build the arcology. So, because arcologies house a lot more people than uh, the residential buildings. That's why I usually say get rid of residential first. Replace residential with uh, arcologies first over um, commercial or industrial. Because commercial and industrial will, you'll still have some residential, like elsewhere in your city. Okay, with that, I will see you guys next time.